My name is Laurel Collins. I'm the Member of Parliament for Victoria, and I'm with the NDP. I'm the critic for environment and climate change. I first ran as a city councillor, and at the time I had been organizing. I founded an organization called Divest Victoria, asking cities to take their money out of fossil fuels, put them into sustainable, responsible investments. I was organizing around housing and renters' rights. And after some time on council, it became really clear to me that these big issues that we're facing, climate change, the housing crisis, well, cities can make big strides, they need a federal partner. And I had a lot of trust in my council colleagues to push forward on the important issues uh, when it came to housing, when it came to climate change. But I looked at our federal government and there's just so much more we need to do if we're actually gonna tackle these issues. I got the opportunity to work on the Climate Accountability Act and this bill came forward. It was empty. <laughs> it, it uh, yeah, it pushed climate accountability back to 2030. And we know that in the lead up to 2030, this are, these are the critical years. And so I had the opportunity to strengthen it in a number of ways, including making sure there were interim measures between now and then to ensure that we are meeting our climate targets, that we're protecting the environment for, for ourselves and for future generations. What motivates me to go to work each day, uh, it's different than when I first got elected. Uh, when I first got elected, I would have said the climate crisis, um, definitely wanting to tackle it and make big changes. And now it's similar, but it is my daughter. And uh, it's wanting to make sure that we are creating a world that we're proud to leave to our children and our grandchildren, one where they have access to affordable housing, where they have a livable planet uh, to inherit. And yeah, where you know, people have access to the, the care and support that they need. You know, I think looking in before getting elected, it seems, um, and it is uh, very partisan, <laughs> But once you're in here, you realize that actually, you know, most of the people who get elected in every party uh, are here because they want to make a difference and they're willing to work across party lines uh, to move important issues forward. Um, yeah, I've just, I've really appreciated learning that despite the theatrics that a lot of folks see, um, that there's actually really important work getting done and people who care deeply. Yeah, you know, there's been a number of instances. So um, when I first got elected and the pandemic hit, um, I worked with Scott Aitchison from the Conservatives, Adam Vancouverden uh, from the Liberals, and Jenica Atwin, who is with the Green Party at the time. And we did a video together to talk about the importance of following public health advice, getting vaccinated, uh, just making sure that people heard from all political parties that we need to take this pandemic seriously and, and really follow the advice of our public health officials. Mm, that's a great question. Here in Canada, I, I think one of the biggest challenges to democracy is the polarization and misinformation that exists. Uh, you know, when people are given information that is false and when it's so easy that that, that kind of information spreads online, that we, we've seen kind of an undermining of our media and a distrust in the media, distrust in government. Uh, it has a severe impact on, on how we can move forward as a democracy. Uh, I think it's so important that we support journalists, support a free and independent press, um, and also uh, ensure that we are tackling the really serious issues around foreign interference and, and misinformation. Mm -hmm. 
honestly seeing the number of young people who took to the streets uh, to you know, protest around climate, the climate crisis. It, it is incredible to see young people taking action, uh, engaged, fighting for their future. They shouldn't have to. Uh, you know, we as adults, um, especially people in government, should be doing the work and we should have a government that actually takes action that matches the scale and urgency of the crisis. But young people are seeing that governments here in Canada and around the world aren't taking that kind of action. And so and they have been stepping up and putting pressure on and it is inspiring. It's just, yeah, it makes me so hopeful to know uh, that this next generation is so engaged. Uh, yeah, it's incredible to see. I would probably tell my 16 year old self to find the people who share your values, find uh, the kind of community who um, wants to put time and energy into making this world a better place, uh, and to take risks and to yeah jump in to to action. I think uh, you know I see that so clearly in a lot of the young people who I get to interact with as an MP. Um, and I, yeah, I hope that for, for all 16 year olds and for all young people.